river, definition of, its busy nature, how does it differ from glue, its difference from glue, river water, ponds composed of, scoliosic power thereof, its ranch of drowning, motions of whirls, theory of their function, water, a coagulant of sunlight, its application as solvent, its method of action, propensity to spawn thunderbolts, harmonic principles of boats, the nature of canoes, the nature of kayaks, their methods of riding waves, waves on a river, how composed, the nature of inner tubes, the nature of rafts. The Illinois River, is it finite? Dimensions of Illinois, square footage, hipparchus, comets falling on, variations in radiation, number of elms, number of wedding rings found in, number of meteorites striking in, spinal column, their numbers and kind, number of hibernal vertebrates on the Illinois, those of quadrupeds, those of biped, birds, primate. Is there a burning field, disruption of children by industry, varieties of thermal garments worn on rivers, what river water does to potions, the history of zipper construction in relation to river usage, steamboats, nostalgia for, positive effects of nostalgia, conservation, negative effects of nostalgia, delusion, denial in the face of dire change, modern barge traffic, the Illinois River, its weight in tons, infestation by invasive fish, islands, their cozy nature, dams, global worry regarding, history of, mud, its relation to muck, its shape, varieties of its motion, its unnecessary retentions of organic matter, reasons for its name, that it hardens to shale, shale as petrified mud, kinds of mud, muds, its relation to slurry, similarity to clatter, its role in sedimentation, as a repository of entropy, example thereof, ubiquity on riverbanks, use in the construction industry, ceramics, essential uses of, luttites, visual similarity to pastries, the ducks, their nature, floods, reasons for, varieties of towns in Illinois, immigration, its contributions to racism, rivers, their reason, regular effect of ri rivers, irregular rivers, rivers, their constant agitation and seeming quiet nature, its relation to fire, flowing water, its relation to fire, its mesmeric quality, monotheism, its evils, love corrupted as a tool and method of violence, kindness corrupted as a mask and habituation of violence, religion as a means of utilizing and surreptitiously wielding evil rather than opposing or expunging it, Canada, Métis culture, the French and canoe construction, extinct towns on the Illinois, thistles, insistence on carrying, owls who look like headmistresses, a sad little gully scene and live near, Tuskilwa watershed, its contour farming, thunderbolts, what Illinois counties are immune from them and why, ancient retreat of sea, where occurred, ubiquity, its presence, the role of rivers in the making of notion of ubiquity, tart smell of farts over river water, wood smoke felted in damp woolens, seeds curtsying through air, spring. <clears throat> what is this rich river, rubber and unreal, on which I somehow have limbs, long and sustained event of lumber, seems itself to act, rises bent from elasticity, bunched in the hills, great motile lesson, gravy of serpent, lid of pounding, the beavers dead in you could fill a hundred buckets, the river encumbered, pollution in trade, lined by orange wood, laced in bright pith, applied with dials, 
parts of car dashes, a complexity at the shoe. Greetings, their function. Greetings to your overlarge vehicles, your Buick Enclave, your Cadillac Escalade, your Chevrolet Avalanche, your Suits Suburban Glacier, your Tahoe, your GMC Yukon, your Hummer, your Headwater, your Grand Cherokee, your Chief Commander and Compass, your Wrangler and Liberty, your Land Rover, Range Rover, your Lincoln Navigator, your Mercury Mariner, Mitsubishi Outlander and Endeavor, Mercury Mountaineer, Toyota Sequoia, your Subaru Forester, your named of ships named of, named like ships named of, your named of maps, your mountains, your seas, named of tribes named of, named of trees named of, the river, its blunders, its eels and bells under it, native organ of, of a hill, long and old, how it lengthens toward whatever seems to block it, its fecal tongue, as alphabet and element at once in a helix through the weeds, reaming everywhere its agglutinous gugas. <clears throat> Illinois is a sum of the fundamentally unexchangeable. You cannot really exchange the grain of corn in a way that makes enough sense relative to its ubiquity. Though nonsensical, corn has a haunting plausibility. Illinois, like some immense, battered graduation ceremony, is an empty beginning, an empty continuance, an expenditure of inertia only. Its catastrophe is its commemoration. We are in the vegetable of empire. What forces pushed animals to their hyperconsumptive relation with vegetables? Also the narrow embryon, zygotic, gymnospermic, ovulant, doily in somatic energy. The seed acquires its body forces from the field which houses the genome. To conceive of the field as fount, river as drain, we do not put the energies of the seed in our immediate body, but in our diet, in other such ancillary repositories. Body is fuel tank, ledger book, it is by the diet that the domestic body is a fuel repository and caloric bank. Our automobiles, by which we transport air conditioning from building to building. Our body is itself an ancillary, irksome vehicle for our head self. Don our public, traveling body, our automobile. When we return home, we deploy our private body, our soma, our dermal body. The dermal body is subject to the aesthetical political forces of appearance. Variations of the dermal body are carcass, cadaver, corpse, also the sleeping body, the making sex body. The corn body in the corn car, in the corn house, having corn sex. <laughs> Illinois is an impossible cannon that shoots itself. Magnesian water swaddled in cambium and chained with antic, esculent meats who ch collect the chunky impediment called food. We imagine the landscape as an asymptote filled with ejected things. How geese sound like pleasant and anxious dorks. Disillusion, its nature. How most corn, weather, cow comes at us in pieces. How rain, divided to thousands of pieces, coalesces to one piece of river. Water mass of liquid distended to cohesive slab of rain slipping through hillside in which is suspended a brambledom of dissolving animals. Ayn Rand, her retarded nature, immunohisto river, cell will, Twain, and the demise of river life, the wrecking of Illinois by supermarket, the old cosmos of the river, its absence, non-flumen, said Morbis, Pantere, meat as condensed sorrow, sorrow, its totalized relation to agribusiness. The fence meme is associated with the chandelier meme. Our illiterate, our illiterate jovial relations with the earth, development of labia,
function and prettiness of labia, development through time, how the labia of an ancestor become the jowls of a grandchild, the need for a prosperous, if desultory, trade agricultural world, the ocean as a ziggurat of lungs, the sea, a complicated doily of forces at the center of the universe, animals as a system of cruelty. What would happiness be that was not measured by the immeasurable grief at what is? Outside, it's nature. What is to be outside? Partly to expose the dermis at sensations caused by moving air, damp from rain, dew patina, biofilm, and sun pound, impact of small object borne by air current, the subjection of these membranes that produce mucus, mucus, a viscous colloid containing antibiotic enzymes, composing and surrounding the eyeball, nose, mouth, sometimes anus and genital, to the webwork of twigs, boughs, muds, animal leavings, the rusting of filaments, foisting of hair, threat of bodily attack, exposure to dust, inhalation risk, pollen fume, the floating of genetically modified spores, is to fuel the world without a house or other anchored or otherwise heavy climate controlled integument containing seats, beds, desks, such as building or vehicle into which we otherwise insert our bodies individually or en masse, each organ a chit, and the nougat of inception, insertion, extrusion, such that even a coat is an envelope designed to transport heat from building to building. We congratulate John Muir, the Peyton Ho, mud as a colloidal fruit, the river as a lung barn, angry people, seven little bit, seven clam river, theoretical hull speed, that we clean the toilet, the mantle, the honey cell, the ladle, the columnar crown, the fouled animal, bird work and culvert fuss, bilge arts, bioaccumulate, echinodermata, your sister, we hoist Cleo, we hoist house and unhouse, your unbearable library. All that is beloved must be changed, separated, severed, what causes the weapons to sparkle. It is remarkable there are stupid persons. Be sad, as in a zoo, as in a leaving outward, potomalalia, out mouth, the horses touch our ground, red parian exhibitors, Franz Joseph rifle, accepting misfortune cheerfully, all of it, peristalt. We come back to the great Buffalo warehouse. There is locomotive steam, there is creosote and the smell of boards in the fog rising in the wetland, in and to, with our hairs, to the Chicago tar. I love the quick dry material. There is a blankness to hunters. For warm days, an airy quick dry shirt is essential in the field. Our lightest weight upland shirt has integrated ventilation points that allow air to circulate, keeping you dry, cool, and comfortable. Lightweight, vertical fabric dries quickly and stands up to the rigors of the field. Vertical flat back offers ventilation and allows freedom of movement for swinging on a fast target. Vertical chest pockets are low profile so they won't catch on the butt of your shotgun. Comfortable, generous cut. Nylon polyester, imported. Machine wash and dry. Color shown below, $50. Vertical pockets won't interfere with gun mount, provides UPF 50 plus sunblock. Shop with us however you choose. Okay, that's it. <laughs>